Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. So I still don't have any idea uh, what I'm gonna do next after my 12 week keto journey, but I wanted to make a little video to talk about how the last week went. I uh, went off keto for a solid three days and I have no regrets. I have no regrets whatsoever. I ended up having a cookout with my friend. We made some delicious uh, pork butt and baby back ribs. Um, it was just such a good time. It was such a, a fun experience and the food was absolutely delicious. We are going to baste the pulled pork and then cover the ribs with some delicious sauce. By we, I mean my friend. So it was just a great a great way to celebrate uh, my graduation that was lost in 2020. I had some friends show up and we had the meat and we had plenty of snacks. We had chips, we had uh, chips with queso, we had, what else did we have? We had chocolates, we had s'mores. We made some s'mores around the fire. It was just, it was so good. It was so wonderful to be able to just eat what I wanted to eat without completely overindulging. That was something I wasn't expecting. I actually was expecting to sort of go back to like a binge eating mentality because whenever I've done a restrictive diet, something like keto for like 30 days, right when it's over, my first reaction is just to like go crazy. And it's to eat all the bad foods, it's to overeat those bad foods and then basically feel like complete crap. I'm excited to say, or I'm excited to report that I didn't actually do that. I, I ate the foods that are obviously not keto friendly, but I found that I was able to stop eating them when I was satisfied. Eating those chips did remind me uh, how addicting they are. Like chips are so good. They're so crunchy and they're so addicting. You don't get full when you eat them, at least I don't. So I was reminded, I was just, I, I was reminding myself sort of like where, how far I've come and how easy it is to just start overeating on things like that, on like snacks. So on Wednesday, I ended up going right back on keto. So I gave myself the weekend. I kind of transitioned a little bit on Tuesday, but on Wednesday, I'm right back to doing keto as a sort of like lifestyle. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I've purchased that sort of like help me or I'm hoping will help me make this a solid part of my life. So everyone knows about those keto urine pee strips. I actually decided to buy this keto pen called Keto, K-E-Y-T-O, not sponsored by them at all. I just wanted to try this out. And what I love about it is that you can just blow into the pen and it will tell you how deep into ketosis you are, which is really cool. And um, based on the little research that I've done, the main difference between sort of like using those, those urine strips and breathing into something is that this keto breath monitor thing is actually able to track the acetone levels in your breath, which is an indicator that you are burning fat. Again, learning all about this from Thomas DeLauer, so it, I'm not making it up, but I only have one source and as an academic, that doesn't feel right, but that's just what I'm gonna go with. The other thing that I'm getting back into is actually riding my bike, in, like a real bike, not a Peloton bike, and so I went for a bike ride with my friend on Wednesday. We. Uh, 
it was just about eight miles. It wasn't anything too crazy. It was very hot, but it was very rewarding. And I feel like that's just what I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna keep sort of chugging along week, act week after week. And until I figure out what my next big goal is, I think what I'll do on this channel is just sort of update you guys and do weekly weigh-ins since I did bring my scale. So speaking of a weekly weigh-in, Last time I weighed in on the channel, I was, I believe, 179.6. And so I got on the scale this morning and I am 179.4. Well, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all next week.